Hi you guys, I'm going to do a video on hair, skin, and nails, but first I wanted to show you guys my surprise. I have a new tattoo, it's my 11th one, I know, a lot right, but um, I don't know, I really wanted to get it, and it's like one of my most visible ones. The second visible one that I have is on my foot, so yeah, and um, here it is says paradise and it was inspired by Lana Del Rey and if you don't know who that is then you're really missing out you need to go check her out like ASAP because her music is really really amazing and she's my second favorite singer after Rihanna of course and yeah I love her music and everything and she just really inspired me to get this tattoo well she has it right here but I wanted to get in this area because I didn't really like how it looks right there. It's cute on her, but it wouldn't look right on me, I don't think. So, yeah, I just got it right here. And, I don't know, like, the whole definition and everything about paradise, it just, I don't know, it means a lot to me. So, yeah, that's why I got this one. And I hope you guys like it, and you're going to be seeing it a lot if you are subscribed to me and watch my videos and stuff. Because, obviously, if I do makeup tutorials, I'm going to have to lift up my arm. So, that's why I just wanted to tell you guys about it before I made this video. So okay, so my batteries are really low and I want to try to get through this. But the first thing I'm going to talk about is hair. Because that's the main thing that people really actually care about. Um, after skin, well, I think it's before skin, I don't know. But yeah, I'll show you guys what I use to um, grow out my hair and stuff and hopefully it will help for you. My hair was never really short to begin with. It wasn't like... My hair has never been... Um... Shorter than, like... My shoulders. It's always been past my shoulders. But it's really growing a lot. And you can't really tell because... Um... My hair is curled right now. But it's been growing a lot. And it's like right here right now. If you guys can see that. And... This is all my natural hair. Soon I will be getting a weave though because I'm sick and tired of doing my hair and I miss my weave. So yeah, but when I do wear my hair, like my real hair, I usually wear it straight more than curly. Sometimes I wear it curly and when I wash it, I use this fast shampoo and conditioner. Here's a shampoo and here's a conditioner. And you can use this. It's supposed to help you grow your hair and it works pretty good. And, um, yeah, I like it. Um, I can't really tell, like, like one certain product that just makes it grow, like, super fast. Because I use, like, a whole bunch of stuff. But that works. And I also use the shampoo and conditioner. It's, like, um, a Shea Butter shampoo and conditioner that you can see if you watch my curly hair tutorial. And that works pretty well, too. Um, it keeps my hair very moisturized and stuff. And also, um, biotin. This works really well. So I take two of these, and it's 5,000 mcg. And it works really good. It's for skin and hair. So, that's skin, hair, and nails too, but I don't really take it for my nails. I take it for my hair and my skin. And it makes your hair go, the hair in your head grow really fast. But the downside is it makes the hair everywhere else grow really fast too. If you know what I mean. So, yeah. If you don't like shaving and stuff like that, then you're probably not going to want to take a biotin. But it does work a lot for growing okay. out your hair. Sorry, my camera cut off. But, yeah. Um, Andrea's Choice did a video a while ago about how the mouthwash will help with your gingif. Just put it in a bottle and spray it, like, all along here. Or wherever you have the gingif in keep doing that for like seven days I guess and then your danger will go away and it really works really well so yeah and the next thing I use for my hair is hmm, I guess that's all for my hair but all that stuff works very well and also don't put a lot of heat on your hair unless you absolutely have to there's like other ways like if you want to straighten your hair you can buy a hooded dryer and buy some rollers and just straighten it like that. You don't always have to use a flat iron. Or, like, if you want to just, like, blow dry your hair out. And then you can straighten it by, um, 
There's other things you can just shake in your hair. Just watch videos on YouTube and you'll find out how to do that. So yeah. And um hmm. That's pretty much all for my hair. I thought I would have more stuff to talk about for that, but I guess not. I'll probably make a video, just a separate video, on how to grow out your hair when I remember all the stuff that I use for my hair. So yeah. Also, if you're like down to wear extensions, like weave, like the actual clip, not the clip-in weaves, but like the sewn-in weaves, that can really grow out your hair. Like, like so seriously, it will really grow it out. Just give it like three months, keep it in for three months, like the braids in your hair, and your hair will probably grow like three inches in three months. So yeah, but just remember to keep trimming your hair and everything, and then your hair will grow. Okay, so for skin, I use a lot of different stuff. For like my acne and stuff, I don't have that much acne, but if I do start getting like a few breakouts here and there, I use tetracycline that I was prescribed. And I'm sure there's a whole bunch of other med medications out there that you can use for acne. So just go to your doctor and get, like, ask them what you can use for that. Tetracycline works very well for me and my skin. And the second thing I use for my skin, I just started using this, the Clean and Clear Deep Action Cream Cleanser. And it works really good. Like, it makes your skin have, like, a tingling mint sensation. I don't know. But it works, like, it's really good. And after that, after I wash that off, I use Yes to Tomatoes. And this is just the Acne Control Gel Cleanser. And this works really, really good too. Like, it's the bomb. You really guys, you guys need to try that. Um, Yes to Tomatoes has a lot of different products out there that you can use. So, I also have this Exfoliating Cleanser. And I also use this um, Acne Repairing Lotion. So, I use all of these. And I just use it like once a day before I go to bed most of the time. Sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I use this just to get like an extra burst of, I don't know, whatever my face. And the next thing I use is this brightening cleanser. It's by B DDF. And this can like really brighten up your face and get rid of any dark spots that you have on your face. Or even if you don't have dark spots, it just like brightens up your face a lot. Okay, so rose water it works very well for your face. This Mario Badescu rose water, it will like really brighten up your face and make you look like alive in the morning and not like you just woke up and had like five hours of sleep. It works really, really well. And another thing is baby wipes or flushable wipes any type of wipes like don't go out and waste money on makeup remover wipes because baby wipes or any other type of wipes will work too so you don't really need to just waste money on makeup remover wipes when you can get some baby wipes for like a dollar and take all your makeup off before you go to bed at, at night and that will really help like clear up your skin from acne or anything like that and also, this makeup remover, any, it's not like, um, it's not like a makeup remover wipe, it's an eye makeup remover, which will help, like, take the dark spots underneath, underneath your eye, it'll help it go away. And another thing that I use to sort of shield my face from all, like, the makeup and stuff I put on is primer. So I get two really good primers. I use the Sonia Kashuk primer from Target. And this Pro and Fix Primer, also from um, Target. So yeah, those work really well. And they're really thick, so it'll like protect you from if you do like different layers of foundation. I use BB cream foundation and powder foundation. So that really protects my skin from all of that stuff that I put on my face. And also, I'm almost out of this, but tea tree oil face wash. I got it from Trader Joe's. And this works really well. I usually use this in the morning, too. So, just whenever I wake up in the morning, I just wash my face and brush my teeth, of course. And I use that, and it works really well. And if you have any dark spots, I didn't really want to make this, like, a dark spot um, video. Because I could just go on, like, talking a lot about that. I'm probably going to make a video about that soon. But, yeah, I use this Cocoa Butter Fade Cream. By Black and Beautiful. I got this at Walmart. 
it doesn't work like right away like you're gonna see changes right away it works pretty well though but if you really need to like remove your dark spots like ASAP then you should try Ambi that works like super super good and that's like my favorite thing to use for any dark spots caused by acne or even like a burn like if you get a burn from your curling iron or flat iron you can use Ambi and it'll like fade it okay, up right away and for um stuff to eat to help with like your hair growth and stuff um I have like a list of all the stuff that's good to help you grow your hair out the first thing is called quinoa I don't know what that is um I don't know just look it up it's spelled q-u-i-n-o-a the second thing is kidney beans which they're pretty good pretty tasty and that will really help your hair grow because there's biotin and a whole bunch of good vitamins and minerals in that and greek yogurt um i don't remember what they said about greek yogurt but that will really help your hair too i don't like yogurt but if that's what you like then take it or eat it and it will help with your hair and the second thing is almonds almonds are very good with you for you <laughs> they are packed with vitamins and minerals and all that good healthy stuff and the second thing is salmon which is my personal favorite food like besides chipotle i love salmon and i can eat that like all day long literally like i just had some today salmon is literally good for you there's a whole bunch of vitamins in there vitamin c um like a whole bunch of good stuff and flax flax seed oil that's good for you too so that will definitely help your hair grow um so I hope you guys like that stuff because if you want to go on this hair growth journey with me, you're going to need to eat a lot of this stuff. Oh, and also like vegetables, fruits and vegetables. Okay, I don't exactly know what fruits and vegetables are like good for your hair growth and for your skin, but you got, I'm sure you guys have a computer or a phone and you can Google that yourself to find out. And let me know in the comments below because I would really like to know. And yeah, um, just continue eating healthy. Because diet is a very important part of your hair and your skin and your nail growth and your overall health. So that's going to be, that's going to work a lot better than anything that I just showed you, honestly. Because that's like your internal health. Yeah, so, follow my, yeah, Twitter, my Instagram, and my Tumblr and all that good stuff. It's down below. And I'm sorry that this video is like so, um, fast. I really did not want my camera to die on me, and I did not want to charge it and then make a video because it's late. It's like 10 o'clock, and I don't feel like doing okay, it. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel if you guys want to win free stuff because I will be having a giveaway very soon. And let me know what you guys want to see more of. If you like more talking videos or videos that I'm showing you guys, what I use for, like, how to grow out my hair or to remove dark spots or anything like that, then just let me know.